Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. Nestle, good food, good life. Welcome back to your feel-good breakfast show. This is Expresso only on SABC3. Of course, we're all looking forward to a long weekend. It is Easter weekend this weekend. And uh, I think if there's one food that can be seen as the pinnacle of Easter weekend, it is hot cross buns. One of my favorites as well. But this morning, Caitlin, the queen of everything sweet, is going to show us her special hot cross bun recipe. Morning. Nice to have you. Thanks. I'm trying to figure out why is hot cross buns, you know, kind of represent over the Easter weekend only? So I, I, I don't care, I just love them. So oh, That's an interesting question, if anyone <laughs> yeah, knows is, that, actually. it would be nice. Connect to us on, on Facebook and tell us, why is hot cross buns seen mostly over Easter? Well, do you know that they used to actually just be called cross buns? Really? And then there used to be people selling them on the side of the road, hot. So they used oh. to scream, hot cross buns, hot cross buns, and that's oh, wow. the name stuff. Okay, so cross buns. Yeah. So hot <laughs> cross buns. All right, so you're making a special one, your own version, right? Yes. Chocolate chip ones. This is for all the raisin haters out there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because the chocolate chips are a little bit sweet and yeah, yeah, yeah. they add something special. Wow, okay. Cool, so, so how do you make them? We've got some flour in here, cake flour. We're going to add mm -hmm. our spices, which are the epitome of, of hot cross buns. That's it. We've got cinnamon and mixed spice, a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar. Brilliant. And then we're using instant yeast today, which I always use instant yeast purely because it's so much easier to use than the fresh one. Okay. So just pop that in there. Okay. Mix it all together. Of course, you can try your hand at Caitlin's Hot Cross Choc Chip Buns. SMS the keyword Nestle to 33728. That's Nestle to 33728. You'll be also automatically be entered into the draw to win yourself a Nestle hamper worth 500 Rand. So uh, SMS that keyword. Uh, just uh, keep in mind that it does cost 1 Rand 50 per SMS. So I've just popped our wet ingredients in there with some milk, some water, a little bit of melted butter. Okay. And then I'm just going to mix this together to form a nice soft dough. Brilliant. Okay, cool. So that's the that's the base of it. Yes. Easy and as that. And then once it sort of comes together, you can start kneading it with your hand. I'm going to get in here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> And then you're going to knead it until it's nice and soft and kind of it becomes pliable and yes. then it looks like this. Just like over that. Here. You need yes. to leave it to rise, of course. Yes, so we're going like to do That's why well. we've covered it nicely over here. So you'll see it's nice and springy. Um, yes. All that yeast has been eating the sugar and it's nice and all right. smooth. Let me pop that guy up. Sorry. There we go. This guy on the side. So um, I've popped a few chocolate chips in here, but I just want to show you. I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay. So we've got our, our Nestle Albany chocolate in here. Nice. So just for interest's sake, one serving that will constitute as one hot crust bun yes. contains 270 kilojoules and one and a half grams of fat. So if you limit it, it could still be enjoyed, indeed, if you are on that very strict diet. So we're using the Albany, the dark, because I love the dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, you see, even healthy. So I'm going to just add a little bit in here. I always knead it into oh, the wow. dough at the end. This is going to be the chocolatiest, 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 what? Chocolate, chocolate, yes, chocolate. How do you say it? <laughs> I'm a bit tongue-tied. Cat is like, Watting me off the screen here. What? What? We need to create a food dictionary with all the weird There's, words that we come talking up Talking about weird, actually, what are some of the weirdest hot cross bun toppings? Ilana okay. likes peanut butter on hers. I'm peanut not so butter. sure about that, to be all honest. Right. Now, why I'm asking because tomorrow Zola's going to be making uh, an fish. interesting one. Yeah, she's doing pickled fish, which is traditional. Um, you actually eat it with hot cross buns, which I didn't wow. know before. But there's, there was a lady on Facebook who said she dips her hot cross buns into stew. Really? So I want to know, wow. what are your weird hot cross bun combinations? She's, I just have normal butter on mine. It's nice like that. But let us know on Facebook, what, is, what do you put on your hot cross buns? It'd be interesting to know. So I've just formed these into little balls. So we've got our, we've put our Nestle chocolate in there. Okay. And then roll it like that. Perfect. And then we've popped it onto a baking tray. I'm just going to move all of this That's over. Oh, this looks divine so far. For the recipe and all the ingredients, you can email us, recipes at expressoshow.com, or you can log onto our Facebook page, Expresso Morning Show SABC3. So for the crosses, okay. I've got some flour, some water, and a little bit of oil. Yeah. And I'm just going to, you want to hold this for me? Yeah, sure. And I'm just going to pop that into a piping bag. You could use a sandwich bag as well, and then you just snip off the corner, which is really, really useful. All right, there we go. So do you want to... I'm going to leave this to you, though. Why? Are you scared of piping bags? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I, you know, not too experienced in that part, right? <laughs> so we're just going to roll it. And then, oh, I want to say, I've made a little yes. wreath, which is something quite cute, something a little bit different. Okay. And um, you can put it in the middle of the table. So you just put those in a circle, but, I mean, you can pack them into sixes, like if I had the shop. Yes, That's also cool. but it looks nice, a little circle. I know you even decorate this one with a little ribbon. little ribbon, right? It's pretty. So you just pipe the crosses on, and then you're going to bake these in the oven at 200 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how big you make your, your buns. Okay. And then and now the there cross goes like the cross. That, just around. Beautiful, look at that. 
and then, you know, when they come out the oven, you serve them warm lashings of butter or just toast them if you want. Right. We had Beautiful. one of our cameramen saying that he actually makes a full-on burger out of a hot cross bun. I've got to give that a try, actually. Hey, a full-on burger, yeah? And what did you say? Egg and bacon. Egg and Egg bacon. Egg and bacon. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. So that keyword, once again, is Nestle, 233728. SMS that will send you everything you need to know to make these lovely chocolate chip hot cross buns. You'll also be automatically entered into the door to win yourself a Nestle hamper worth 500 Rand. Those SMSs do cost 1 Rand 50. Okay, and that's it. I'm cross. Easy yes. as that. Yes. Perfect. So we pop in the oven so and they come out looking like that. Like yeah. This. And if you want to, you don't have to. You can glaze it with a little bit of honey, um, just for a good. little bit of sweetness, but it's not necessary. Obviously, then you're okay. going to up the calorie intake as well, so you've got to bear that in mind. Perfect. Well, here's one last look at how we made our chocolate chip hot cross buns. Mix flour, salt, and spices. Mix together sugar, water, milk, and yeast, then add to the flour mixture. Knead for five minutes, then knead in the butter and chocolate. Leave to rise until doubled. Knock down dough, then divide into balls. Leave to rise again until doubled. Brush buns with egg white. Mix flour, oil and water, then use to pipe crosses onto buns. Bake at 180 degrees until golden. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to www.expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword Nestle to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. And it's easy as that and you have yourself a lovely chocolate chip hot cross buns. Caitlin's very own special recipe. Thank you so much. Only That's a very lovely. I so, hope you have a great Easter. Oh, it's going to be a great Easter. I know all of us going to have a great Easter with hot cross buns, of course, but there's hot cross buns for everyone. Guys, want some hot cross buns? Maybe? No?